Thank you very much for joining me. Uh, this is Keiko, and today is the first chapter Friday. Uh, since October is Halloween month, so I picked a little bit scary, not too much, a little bit scary book. Right? Since I'm reading just chapter one, if you like to know more, then you are going to check it out. Okay? Today's book is school a magic school bus rides again and subtitle is monster power so let me start author is judy katki the publisher is scholastic these are the characters right do you know all about them Chapter 1, Arnold Scary Tale The day had just begun for Miss Frizzled class, but Arnold already had a story. He was telling the class about monster from a scary movie he had seen. It was unbelievable, Arnold told his friends. It had 14 eyeballs and giant, nasty, Tentacles. Ah, oh, I've never heard of anything like that. He sounds like last of his kind, Wanda said. He must be lonely. Arnold knew that Wanda's passion was saving all living beings. He didn't know that included monsters. Don't feel bad for him, Wanda, Arnold said. He sell, um, he belches, <laughs> sulfuric acid, and shoot flames from his nose. Tim wrinkled his brow. Sulfi, what? He asked. Dorothy Ann had an answer for everything, and if she didn't know it, she looked it up. Sulfuric acid, she explained. It's an acid that's super strong. In that case, Tim said, those belches have got to hurt. Ralphie walked over to join his friend. Belches, guys, if you have something to say about me, Ralphie said, say it to my face. We are talking about someone else with deadly burps, Ralphie, Tim explained. It's a monster Arnold saw in a movie, but burps are my thing, joked Ralphie. See the Ralphie? Arnold continued to describe the monster. It comes only at night. He said, it loves pollution, which helps it grow bigger and bigger until the sky is blotted out by its bloody, bloodless. Loves pollution? Wanda asked, who would love stinky air and dirty water? The blood monster, that's who, Arnold answered, and the only thing that can stop is light. Arnold waited for gasps, shivers, or maybe screams, but all he got were smiles and few chuckles. That sounds like a fun movie, Arnold, Ralphie admitted, but I don't think it's real. It felt real to Arnold. From now on, I'm staying inside with the lights on, said Arnold. There's no way I will sleep in the dark ever again. Arnold glanced around the classroom. Speaking of sleep, why does everyone have sleeping bags and backpacks? Suddenly, rope dropped from the ceiling down to the floor. The kids watched as their teacher, Miss Frizzle, shimmy down the rope 
She landed with a hack in the middle of the classroom. Liz, the class leader, climbed down behind her. Good morning, campers, Miss Frizzle said. She was wearing a shirt with a tree and a mountain, and she had a star-shaped compass around her neck. Are you ready? Let's see, Miss, Miss Frizzle. Kim, Wanda, Dorothy, Anne, and Ralphie nodded their heads. They were ready. So were Keisha, Carlos, and Jyoti. Their magical class trips were already or always an awesome surprise. Miss Frizzle had taken them everywhere from an undersea adventure to inside a volcano. And that's exactly what worried Arnold. Mm. Ready for what, Miss Frizzle? Arnold asked. Adventure! Campfire! Miss Frizzle replied. To sleep all night in the really dark wilderness. Dark. Arnold froze. Dark? He asked, maybe we'll see a giant spider, Carlos said, smiling, or a huge snake. Or worse, Arnold mumbled, how could his friend sleep in the dark wilderness? They would become a snack for the blood monster, thought Arnold. Arnold knew he had to do something fast. He waved his hand in the air and shouted, Miss Frizzle, Miss Frizzle. Yes, Arnold, Miss Frizzle asked. I can't go, Arnold cried. I can't go on this class trip. That is the end of the chapter one. Right, continue chapter two. Okay, check it out. All right. Thank you very much for joining me today. So, I will see you next time. And meantime, happy reading. Okay. And then please take care. Remember this. Okay. Magic school bus rise again. And this title is Monster Power. Okay. Thank you. Bye bye.